we're about to check out this $10 million mansion in the Hollywood Hills. This modern house behind me features five bedrooms, seven bathrooms. Let's have a tour. Starting our tour from the street, you can walk up a couple of steps to this pedestrian gate and we have arrived to your property. There's also another gate that leads to the driveway with a motor gate. There's a lot of gates here in the front of the house and your two car garage. Very interesting finishes there on the exterior of the garage and right above it as well. There's a lot of unique details throughout this house. So try to keep up as we check out all of them. You also have some ficus trees in the front, give you some privacy, but let's just head right inside through this large glass pivot door. All right, so we see a beautiful chandelier above me and open concept living at its finest flows all the way out into the backyard. You can already see the pool, the water features, but first there's a bedroom to the right. Before the bedroom, we do have a bathroom, dark wood throughout, dark wood paneled on the wall. Shower has a very high, very tall, tinted glass pivot door. Chrome rain shower head in there. The same tile on the floors we see in the shower too. And this is not attached to this bedroom, so it's not en suite. And this bedroom's a little bit smaller, so we have staged it as an office here. You also have pocket doors, Fleetwood sliding pocket doors that pocket in. I said pocket like four times there, but it flows right out to the front. And if you see, there is a little seating area out here in your front yard, more ficus trees surrounding you there. But let's head out of this room and show you some of the rest. So we've got the living room here, and then we have plenty of storage space over on this side, two floating wood ledges with the LED light strip under each one. And then you have this hallway with another glass tinted, black tinted door that leads into the electronic room. And look at your powder room right here. You have a motion sensor light in this powder room, very unique light fixtures, one on each side of your large sink, the vanity, storage beneath with a couple towels, and then it takes on an L shape, toilet is tucked back here, but how am I not gonna talk about the wallpaper in here? I mean, it feels like we are in, a, in the forest with the same bird just following us around. You have the same like blue bird looking guy on the wall about five times in here pretty much it. If you like birds, this is the, the powder room for you. But then we have the door that leads into the garage. Brand new epoxy floors in there. A little look in the laundry room, whirlpool, washer and dryer. And then you have the bedroom right next to it. Storage space, modern wood doors in the storage. More sliding glass doors here in the bedroom. And look at where this leads to. This is one unique detail of many that we'll see. It leads out to this side yard with a waterfall wall. I mean, if you're adding a waterfall wall to your house, that's when you know you've made it. You can hear the water droplets. You got some lights down there that you can change to whatever color you'd want. And the rock features with the concrete slabs, always a nice touch down there too, but let's keep moving. It's also en suite, this bedroom. Shower's pretty large. You have the same black tinted shower door and there is a window in this shower to look out into that waterfall wall. The light features, that side yard, shower bench, same rain, rain shower head in here. I like the dark finishes in this bathroom. You see it in the shower, you see it on the floors, and then it matches the vanity. Beautiful, sleek, smooth stonework on your vanity. So keep on following me. So we're passing the living room, floating staircase to the left. To the right, you have marble surrounding your fireplace and there's another door wow so in a lot of these houses you're going to see most of the bedrooms upstairs but in this house most of them are downstairs actually so here's another ensuite bedroom this is the bathroom the bathroom is very large you have in this corner the floating vanity with beautiful countertops once again large mirror same light fixture we've seen toilet tucked back here with the dark wood panel wall and then shower with the black tinted glass door once again that goes all the way up to the ceiling. I mean, this is pretty heavy when you're, you're putting this in, you're adding this into your home, into your bathroom and shower bench. Lighter tones in here. You go with the light gray. It's a nice contrast from the dark gray in the last bathroom. But as we go across this little hallway, 
some storage to the left, and here is another bedroom. This is the biggest bedroom we've seen so far throughout this house of the three or four that we've seen. Definitely enough space in here to maybe even put an office desk or a TV, maybe three TVs. You can do anything in here. This is a large room. A lot of primary master bedrooms would be this size as well. And there is a walk-in closet. I've toured a lot of homes, maybe 200 homes on this channel, and a lot of the primary master bedrooms in the four or five million dollar houses have closets similar to this, where you have a little centerpiece, you have the dark wood, you have some accessory drawers, but this is just a random bedroom here in this house, and it's under $10 million in the Hollywood Hills. Just wait till you see the backyard. All right, we are back to the open concept living. First, we have dining area, dual-sided fireplace. One side's the dining room, and one side is the kitchen. Incredible kitchen. I love a minimalistic styled kitchen where everything just blends in together. When you first look, you don't even know where the fridge and freezer are. I know I didn't, I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit, but you have brand new Sub-Zero wine fridge here, Gagano espresso machine, then Gagano dual ovens, pantry storage space throughout, marble countertops, same marble on the backsplash with your sink. Six burner gas stove is on your marble center island. Three beautiful light fixtures above the island. Viking microwave is there on your island. And then here is where the fridge is located. It's already stocked with drinks. You buy this house, you don't even have to buy your own drinks. You don't have to go grocery shopping for a week. You got your own, your Stella. You got a little, little Casamigos in there and your coffee. You know, you gotta always have the coffee in the morning. And then finally, we have arrived to the best part of the house, the backyard. Fleetwood sliding stack doors pocket into the wall. And then you step down a couple of steps to your outdoor kitchen where you have a barbecue grill, you have a flat screen TV, you have barstool seating on the outside facing some lounging areas. And you can see all the way out to the pool, you get a great view of the Hollywood sign if you are the bartender for any parties going on in this house. As we keep making our way, outdoor living, a couple of sofas on the outside. And you might miss this door if you're just casually walking around this house. It blends in very well into the wall, but this is where your home movie theater room is right now. You have stadium seating, two levels. You have a projector screen that's kind of high up there on the wall and very high ceilings in here. I like how they went with the blue paint on the walls, nice navy tone, and the LED lights on the concave ceiling going up. And we got USA on the TV. Go USA, World Cup. See who's gonna win. Out in the backyard, heat lamps above, built-in speakers, recessed lighting, three heat lamps throughout. So even on a chilly day up here in the hills, you'll still feel pretty good. Now here's your pool, very large pool. You have this shallow end here with a couple of day beds, lounge chairs, and you have eight water features flowing in the pool. As you can see, I, I got a duck underneath these right here without even getting wet. Look at that, that's just like magic right here. And you have it turfed on two sides with, these aren't even day beds, these are actual beds that are for the outside. I mean, just have your friends over, tell them they can crash in the backyard, there's plenty of room for them on both sides of the yard. And then you have your elevated spa, more water features, waterfall flowing into the pool, and then another waterfall as you step down, flowing right next to this fire pit outdoors. And now just take a look at the house. The view of the house from your jacuzzi, from your pool area is insane. You can also see the Hollywood sign from right here. And then you have a massive, this is a large fireplace, fire pit right here on the outside next to your fire pit. This fire pit's about five feet from your other fire pit. The more the merrier when it comes to fire features, am I right? Over in the corner, turbo barbecue grill, nice countertops, and then another sink, more kitchen appliances back there, and then this. I have to show you guys this. This is a projector screen. You can watch outdoor movies. You can invite friends to hang out in the pool, the jacuzzi, crash on the beds, or just put some chairs out here, some seats, put up a nice movie, you get a view. This is almost as big as the screens at some movie theaters. It's pretty large, pretty incredible. I might just wait till it gets dark here, throw on a movie there, just uh, don't tell anyone. And then we'll come out here, more turf backyard. I'm a big fan of the turf backyards. Way less maintenance. It's way easier to just hang out, run around on. You know, my dog would love it too. And you step up here, more lounge seating, just another 
covered space with recessed lighting, more built-in speakers. And you have the pool house bathroom right here. This is a large pool house bathroom. And you have a shower, of course, so you don't have to go inside. Chrome rain shower head hangs from the ceiling up there. And then just plenty of space, everything you need, lots of countertop space in your vanity, then your toilet right next to the door. And now on the other side, your outdoor gym. And you can obviously make any portion of your outdoor gym, maybe even that other side with all the lounge seats, a couple of Peloton bikes, put some weights down here. You got a moss wall, and then you have recessed lights, built-in speakers, and now this is, this is why we're here. We're on top of a mountain here in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. And you can see downtown LA to the right side, Hollywood sign directly in front of me, and then a basketball court right here. There's just a basketball court, incredible. If there was a ball right now, I'd probably just easily, you can see, I can easily reach a 10-foot hoop right there, regulation size, but that was everything out here. Now it is time to go back inside. I hope you guys were able to catch up with everything, but we got to transition back inside. So we're heading upstairs. As we get halfway there, you have this plant-like wall behind me. That is a living wall. Maybe it'll grow. Maybe it'll cover the entire wall in green. But then you have a gallery wall next to me where you can put one of the largest posters or piece of art that you can find on that wall. And the light fixtures above are like no other. They look like seashells, maybe upside down tulips, something, whatever you guys think, that's what, that's what those are right there. And then also this staircase leads to the rooftop deck. So wait till you see that at the very end, it's incredible. So as we stepped into this bedroom, first we have the bathroom to this left side. Storage space to the left. And I don't even know where to begin, where this place starts, where it ends. But first we have this door to my right. Once again, a black tinted glass door leading into the toilet room with motion sensored lights. Close that off, you get a bit, a bit of privacy. You can still kind of see in there because it's, it's glass, but it's not, it's not fully closed. And then you have, once again, another glass dark tinted door leads into the shower. One chrome rain shower head in here, another handheld one over in this corner. And then this is kind of interesting. You, you got, look at this, you got two body shower heads. Definitely a nice massage that you could get in that shower. But right across from the shower, dual vanity, you have mirrors. This, this mirror covers the entirety of the wall, but it is the black tinted mirrors here in the center, above, at the bottom, on the sides. It's a very unique two light fixtures on both sides of this sink here. Built-in speakers, recessed lighting, you got all the basics. You got a makeup station to the right side, large mirror, views of the Hollywood sign, oversized windows. And this tub, completely freestanding marble tub right on this marble block as well. Floating marble block too. You can see the LED light shining down on the bottom there. It looks like it's completely just floating in the air. Something out of David Blaine or Chris Angel right there. And this wall, book mash marble up here on the wall. This tub almost looks too nice. I don't even want to touch it or get into it. It's, it's amazing. So much space in here. And then one more. Actually, it wraps all the way around. So you can enter this bathroom through two ways. And now we are in your bedroom. This is one of the most unique master bedrooms that you'll ever see because you have one balcony over on that corner. You have another balcony over on this corner. This one is a little bit more private. You have a moss wall to the left. You have an open ceiling above me. And you have windows to my right that look into your walk-in closet. And then you get views of the backyard, the Hollywood sign from out here. This is a nice area to be more secluded. Close off these sliding glass doors and just be to yourself here. But now we gotta check out this closet. So guys, this house is brand new. As you can see, they haven't even finished the island of this closet, but everything is Fully wood finished. You got the amazing light wood tones throughout. All of the windows looking out to the hills. You, can, you got valley views and city views. And that is when you know you have it, you, you've made it up here in the hills. When you get views of both the valley and the city. Back into the bedroom, fireplace to my left, flat screen TV above, L-shaped balcony. You can enter through this side with the Fleetwood pocket doors or through that side with the Fleetwood pocket doors. And then we have this plant life here on the balcony closing us off a bit from the street, from your neighbors. 
But if you peek through, you do see downtown LA. You can see all the way out to the horizon, honestly. There's just endless views out here of Los Angeles, here in the Hollywood Hills. Recess lights once again, built-in speakers. And this balcony flows right into the second bedroom up here. So, I mean, you walk into this bedroom and you immediately see the mirrors behind me. You probably just think, how is this not the primary bedroom? It is, it is insane, just feels super luxurious being able to walk around this house. You have the concave ceiling with the five speakers, recessed lights. You have these black beams on the back side of the bed. Once again, fireplace and flat screen TV built into the wall. A little cutout for some floating glass shelves, make that a bookshelf, and you have the wood finishes over there on the back side. Then you step down a couple of steps, and we are in the bathroom, actually. This is an open air bathroom. There's not even, you can see, you can see downtown from your bathroom without any windows or anything, and into your bed. So that's very easy. You don't have to go through any doors. So over on this back side, once again, glass door leads into that toilet room. Your sink is way tucked in this corner. Then you have the black mirror going up to the ceiling once again. Tons of countertop space to the right side. Lots of storage down beneath in the dark wood drawers. And once again, just so, so much black tinted glass throughout this house. Always got to walk in the shower. Chrome rain shower head, a little small handheld guy right here. Shower bench down here below completely surrounded in that black glass. And you have a drop down ceiling actually with LED lights up there bordering the drop down ceiling here in your shower. One recess light next to that chrome shower head. As we keep moving along, some more storage space and then another closet. So this is just the last thing that they attempt to build when they're building these brand new houses. It's the, the walk-in closet, so you can tell. It's not completely done yet, but you do have a nice chandelier light fixture above. It's pretty unique, we haven't seen that yet. But there's just one last thing to see in this house and it might be the best part aside from the backyard, aside from all these rooms. There's a lot of cool details in this house, but we gotta go up to the roof. Heading up the floating staircase to the third and top level, the rooftop deck. I'm always a big fan of all these rooftop decks throughout these houses. See the light fixtures behind me, the seashells. And look at this, guys. I mean, and we're at sunset. Does it get any better than this? This is insane. Just the feeling of, I wish you guys on the other side of the screen can feel what I'm feeling right now. The second you walk out to this rooftop deck, it just feels like everything is in place. Everything is at peace. You get everything here in Los Angeles from the Hollywood sign to the ocean actually, which is unreal. We have this marble bar area up here on your rooftop deck in the same marble that we see in the kitchen downstairs. Barstool seating on the outside, couple of sofas. Outdoor dining, you got an umbrella, of course. You really do whatever you want to do up here. You can put a barbecue grill in. You can, there are some heat lamps in, over there for storage. You can see the valley downtown, the suns. I mean, what else, do I, what else can I say, honestly? This is, this is one of the, the better houses that you will see up here in the Hollywood Hills. And for under $10 million, it's pretty crazy. But I appreciate you guys for watching till the very end of the video. If you haven't hit the like button already, do so, subscribe. Thank you to the listing agents, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.